my name is Haley Miranda. I majored in art education and I graduated from Northern Arizona University in 2022. I kind of knew I was always going to go to college. Um, it wasn't so much that I made the choice, I want to do this, so I should go to college and get the degree. It was more my parents telling me, get A's and B's, you need a scholarship to go to college. So it was kind of just told that I, I was told I was going to go to college, but honestly, I'm okay with that because I'm really happy with how everything turned out. And it helps me be a better role model for my siblings too, since I'm the first of my siblings to go to college. I went into NAU declared as an art education major um, because I had to pick something and I knew it would be more worthwhile to pick a major and hope I stuck with it than go in as undeclared and waste two years doing gen ed requirements. When I was applying to universities, I was like, I don't know what I want to do because I am 18 and this is scary. Um, to pick something for the rest of my life. So I kind of just thought about what I like to do. And I always loved art. It was one of my favorite things to do. Um, and all my life I've been told that I would be a really good teacher. So I kind of just combined them. I was like, hopefully I like it. And I did. So I've stuck with it ever since. Only two of the three major universities in Arizona offer art education degrees. Um, which one is it? ASU doesn't offer that program. So it was between U of A and NAU, and one, well, NAU originated as a teaching college. So they are by far the best college in Arizona to come to if you want to be an educator. Beyond that, I got the Lumberjack Scholarship for NAU, whereas I only got like a half tuition scholarship at U of A. And I also wanted to move four hours away from my parents because I didn't want to be there. So all of that kind of contributed to my decision to attend college, as well as which college I attended. mom actually attended college when I was like one, I think. She tried college and then dropped out. Um, and then when I was, after I was born, she realized that she might want to go back so she can make more money. So she went and got her nursing degree. She got it in two years in an accelerated program. Um, as far as my dad, I believe he started to attend college and then realized it wasn't for him and he dropped out. One of my favorite, like, what I enjoyed most about my college experience was probably learning how to make friends and how to be an adult. Because I was really, really shy in high school. Um, I would shake even having to stand in front of a class, let alone speak. And then I decided to be a teacher of all things, where you do that every day. So I had to get over all those fears. And honestly, I think that's what I enjoyed most about my college experience was being able to get over all of that. All years were definitely different. I think I needed the most support in my first year and my third year. The first year is really hard because you're on your own. You don't have your parents around. If you move four hours away like I did. And it's really hard getting used to college when you're used to high school. So I think I definitely needed support that first year. Um, but then the second year was just the same as the first. Super easy you know, got the hang of things. The third year though, is when they throw everything on you because they throw all the hard stuff that you can't do during your senior year because you need to do stuff beyond that, um, you know, higher level class. So they throw a lot of hard stuff at you in the third year. And I think my junior year, I genuinely thought about dropping out of college because it was so much work and I couldn't imagine how to do that much work for the rest of my life as a job because I thought that's what teaching would be. Um, but then my fourth year, I student taught, and it was not nearly as, you know, straining as going to college was. Um, obviously, not everyone has that experience, but that's how I knew teaching was for me, because my fourth year was so easy. I was so happy to be here. I think I was also excited to graduate, which is why it probably made it easier than my junior year, because I was just done. Oh my gosh, I wish I knew how to apply for scholarships. Like, 
I always got told, you know, apply for scholarships, apply for scholarships, and then no one ever showed me how. Um, so I would apply for FAFSA. I'd apply for some scholarships that I knew about, like through the college or through my high school. Um, but I never knew that, like, I could get scholarships for being queer. I never knew I could get scholarships, you know, for liking art, for having siblings. There's scholarships for everything. And I really wish I knew that that actually was a thing or at least I knew where to access those resources because that would have saved me so much money on college. Um, I think something else I also would have liked to know is that just because your tuition is X amount of money doesn't mean that that's all you're paying. Um, it's kind of a shock when you get to college and you're like, I'm paying 10 grand to go to college this year. And they're like, yeah, but you're also paying this much for rent and your board, this much for your meal plan that we require you to have this much for this, there's extra fees, there's this, you gotta play class fees, you gotta buy materials because they're not supplied. It's, it's a lot your first year after coming from high school to be like, I have to buy everything I need and like no one's gonna help me. So my college experience definitely prepared me to be an art educator, um, which is a career I definitely enjoy. Um, my professor for three of the four years who ran the art education department um it was a certified art teacher for so many years before she started teaching college students how to be art teachers and she's had so many books published and she's a really great really teacher and i think having her as a professor um definitely prepared me for what to expect as an art teacher um as well as figure out how to do it successfully and make it fun because some teachers make stuff really boring. So I think she definitely helped me prepare for the career and I enjoy because she helped me see what I would enjoy and like what I would struggle with as a teacher and what I wouldn't struggle with. And then something else that really helped in my college experience was student teaching because like it's really hard to know if you want to be a teacher if you never get to teach kids until you graduate. Um, so student teaching really opened my eyes and made me go, yeah, this is definitely what I want to do. I'm having so much fun doing this. Um, sometimes it doesn't even feel like a job. Like, I think student teaching, hands down, was the biggest thing in my college experience that prepared me for a career I enjoy.